Hi, I'm Brett Newberry. Since this week is International Fraud Awareness Week, I thought we should focus on fraud prevention related to guardianships and conservatorships in the state of New Mexico. Recently, there has been several fraud scandals in New Mexico related to guardianships in which the guardian used the funds designated for the benefit of someone for their own benefit. A guardian is a person or an entity appointed by a court to make personal and health care decisions for someone who is impaired because of mental illness, dementia, physical disability, or substance abuse. Someone who is impaired in this way is considered incapacitated. A conservator is a person or entity appointed by a court to make financial decisions for an incapacitated person. The, the court may appoint a conservator to manage the property or financial affairs of an incapacitated person or minor. Unlike a guardian who may be nominated under a will, a conservator may only be appointed by a court. The New Mexico Supreme Court on April 6, 2017 established the New Mexico Adult Guardianship Study Commission and charged the commission to study the operation and structure of the adult guardianship system in New Mexico to report its findings to the court and other participants in guardianship administration and to make any recommendations it deems appropriate for improving the operation or structure of the New Mexico guardianship system. On October 1, 2017, the Commission submitted its initial status report for consideration by the Supreme Court. In this report, the Commission offered the following recommendations. One, require certification by statute or court rule of professional guardians and conservators by a national organizations such as the Center for Guardianship Certification. This recommendation is not intended to preclude New Mexico from developing its own certification requirements. Two, require bonding or an alternative asset protection arrangement by statute or court rule for conservators to protect the interests of the individual subject to the conservatorship. Three, propose legislation to establish and fund an adult protection person oversight board to regulate certified bonded professional guardians and conservators and to communicate concerns about professional guardians and conservators to the courts. Four, seek legislative funding for appropriate personnel, including, but not limited to, monitors and auditors to investigate information contained in annual reports and audits of guardians and conservators and to report to the court. Five, establish stringent reporting and financial accountability measures for conservators, including the following. A, require conservators upon appointment to sign releases permitting the courts to obtain financial documents of protected persons. B, require annual reports to include bank and financial statements and other, any other documentation requested by the court auditor with appropriate protections to prevent disclosure of confidential information. C, require conservators to maintain a separate trust account for each protected person to avoid commingling of funds and D require conservators to maintain financial records for seven years. Six, require regular training for all current and future judges about the law that applies in guardianship and conservatorship proceedings. Seven, Create a flowchart and glossary of terms for the guardianship-conservatorship process 
The commission feels that this will assist judges, attorneys, family members, and members of the public. Eight, create educational and training resources for non-lawyers involved in a guardianship or conservatorship proceeding. Nine, require mediation or facilitated family meetings in all contested guardianship and conservatorship proceedings. 10. Require by court rule that a judge make specific findings of fact when appointing a guardian or conservator if the judge deviates from the protected person's advance, directive, trust, will, or estate plan or the order of priority listed in the statute. 11. Create and mandate the use of a cover sheet in adult guardianship and conservatorship proceedings. The creation of a cover sheet is a way to identify individuals who are entitled to notice of the proceeding and to sort cases based on the potential issues that may arise. 12. Authorize and seek funding for the administrative office of the courts to hire special masters or commissioners to hear grievances against guardians and conservators. 13. Seek legislative funding for technology and necessary staffing to modernize accounting and tracking of conservatorships and to build safeguards to protect vulnerable adults from financial exploitation. 14. Establish a recurring, diverse commission which would be appointed every four years to hold public hearings about the guardianship and conservatorship statutes, rules, and procedures in New Mexico and to make recommendations for continued improvement of the guardianship system. 15. Establish an adult guardianship and conservatorship rules committee. 16. Establish an adult guardianship and conservatorship forms committee that includes members who are not lawyers. 17. Authorize the commission chair to seek a formal ethics advisory opinion regarding potential ethical issues that have come to the attention of the commission. I recommend that you contact your elected state representatives and senators and ask them to support reform in New Mexico so that we do a better job of protecting our citizens related to guardianship and conservatorship issues. Thank you.